In this lecture, we will learn about the third and the most efficient approach of conditional rendering and that is ternary conditional approach. So in JavaScript, we have something which is called as a ternary conditional operator. And what that operator does is that it checks for a condition and it returns something in a single line. So what I would like to do here is that first of all, get rid of this conditional here. And over here, let's start by using the ternary operator. So the ternary operator is quite concise. So we could directly use the return statement. So we say return display. So what this does is that it checks for this condition display and it checks if that is true. And if that is true, what it does is that it executes the code which is before the colon which we have here. And if that's not true, it's going to execute the code which is written after this particular colon right there. So if display, then what we want to do is that we want to return a div which says something like this is a conditional component. So here I would say div. And if this turns out to be false, I also want to return a div on this side as well. And now in this div, I want to have this heading. So I'll cut this from here, paste it up over here. And I'll cut this heading from here and paste it up right up over here. And now once we do that, let's get rid of this code which we have up over here because we no longer need it. And now as you can see, our code is much more concise and precise. So what this does is that this ternary operator or this ternary conditional checks the value of display. So it checks what is display. If the display is true, then execute this code before the colon. And if this display is false, then execute the code after the colon. So right now the value of display is set to false. That means it will execute this code here and we should see nothing to see here on the output. So as you can see, it says nothing to see here. And then again, if I change this back to true, if I go back here, it says this is a conditional component. So this is how the ternary approach works. And as you can see, the code over here is much more concise. We only have one written statement. And also we didn't have to use any of the element variables either. So these are the three approaches and depending upon the situation or depending upon the scenario, you have to pick and choose one of the three approaches. But what I would recommend is that if you want to create a conditional and if you want to render some simple stuff, use this approach or else you could also go with the element variable approach as well, but never use the first approach wherein you have multiple return statements inside your code. So that's it for this lecture and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.